CataractCoach.com. Post your polar with a pre-chopper. It's using this pre-chopper for this challenging type of cataract case. So you can see there's a very classic looking posterior polar cataract. That well-defined posterior opacity there, you know this is going to be a challenge. And so tripan blue dye going inside here. Important to get a good capsule because, again, these cases, we all know, posterior polar, the posterior capsule can be weak, fragile, or even, frankly, absent in that one focal area. And so you may end up putting in a sulcus lens with optic capture. So having a nice 5mm excess is really key. Now, there's the incision. Looks pretty good. Here comes the cystotome, getting that rexus done. Again, you want that beautiful 5mm rexus. Nicely flipped over. Now going with some forceps and creating a nice rexus. Beautiful looking rexus here. Now, the key in these posterior polars, as we know, is you've got to avoid hydro dissection because hydro dissection can cause that posterior capsule to just split wide open right after the hydro dissection. And so you don't want that to happen here. So you can do hydro delineation. There's the golden ring. I like that approach. Here comes the phaco probe. Groove down the middle here. That looks pretty good. And not really aspirating too well here. Okay. Going to the side there. Oh, what is that? That looks like smoke sign. Let's slow it down here. That smoke sign can happen if the tip is clogged. Then maybe there's a blockage there of that tip. I'd clear that. Good catch. Great job, Doc. More viscoids going inside the eye. And now there's the pre-chopper. Now you can just split this groove here. Be careful though, don't put too much pressure because remember that posterior polar cataract, you try to stretch out the bag there or expand its dimensions too much, you may very well cause a rip in the capsule. So here now just taking the pieces out. So pre-chopper can certainly be done as we're seeing here. It's just not easy. So if you, if you want to learn more about these techniques, please come to our Cataract Coach Best of Course this Saturday, April 6th, at the ASRS meeting in Boston. 8 a.m. sharp. I'll see you there. Now here, more visqualizers go. It's a good idea. Notice how there's no real rotation of these pieces. Bring them up out of the bag, but there was no hydro dissection. There you go. Now getting the last of the endonucleus out. What's remaining is the epinuclear shell, of course, and the cortex. And you can still see there's the posterior polar opacity. A little more viscoelastic going inside the eye here. Now, phaco probe. Okay, back to the phaco probe. Get the little pieces out. And so, hey, nice catch there with that smoke sign. If you know what that smoke sign is, you better go to cataractcoach.com, the website, and type in smoke sign. I bet you'll learn a lot. It's from a phaco, impending phaco wound burns from a tip that's clogged. So, here we go. Now, taking out these pieces, very nicely done. Uh, at this point, you may want to switch over to the IA probe. Also, try visco dissection here. So visco dissection can be very helpful to get these out, or you can just use the IA probe. And again, get out all the cortex other than the posterior polar opacity first. Leave, save that area for last, and don't go crazy polishing. Oftentimes, it'll come up and, and be released like you're almost seeing here. So again, get that peripheral cortex first at the capsule bag equator, that's what I'd get first, and then usually that posterior opacity, there you know, it just comes off by itself. And again, do not polish the posterior capsule. At this point, I actually like to fill the out viscoelastic before coming out. Hey, check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. Yeah, I know I love YouTube too, but there's so much more important information on that website, including info about our podcast. Here's the lens going in the eye, single piece of acrylic lens going nicely in the capsule bag. Beautifully done there. And I take out the viscoelastic call this a day. So a nice case here. Posterior polar, we featured a lot on cataractcoach.com. If you go to the website, actually, you can actually see dozens and dozens of posterior polar cases. If you have a posterior polar cataract case coming up, you best watch those videos. Oh, what's that right there? Do you notice? Seal the incision. A little small decimate attachment. Honestly, of no consequence, seal the incision. It should go back into position. I do not think you really need a big air bubble in the eye. But if you want, you could put one temporarily, obviously. So sealing up the incisions, that small decimate attachment at the main incision uh, is really of no consequence. What ends up happening is it'll go back into position, and then the endothelial pump function will end up holding it back in place. And so it shouldn't really be an issue there. Just make sure the incision is nicely sealed. And that's a beautiful case here. So again, thank you for sharing this case. I think you learned a lot. So did I.